Welcome to the lesson on food chains. At the end of this lesson, we will learn about the concept of food chain, about producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers, and territory consumers, the transfer of energy in a food chain, the process by which harmful chemicals enter our bodies. A food chain or a web is the process by which energy is passed on to all the living organisms. What is a food chain, Dad? You had chicken for lunch today. Yes. And before you had the chicken, it was eating herbs in the garden. Son, the chain is herbs, chicken, man. The chain is called a food chain. The herbs get its energy by mixing sunlight. water and other substances dad look at that vulture picking up a fish hmm what do you think is their food chain small fish first eat sea plants a big fish eats the small fish this big fish is eaten by the vulture and what happens to the vulture when it dies is it eaten by a wolf So this is a longer food chain. This is how the food chain will look like. Those who make food by using solar energy are called autotrophs. Those who eat autotrophs are called herbivores. Those who eat herbivores are called carnivores. And carnivores can be further divided into small and big carnivores. or in other words secondary and territory carnivores you had chicken today for lunch so did you get all the energy that the chicken had got from its food hmm no the chicken ate food and ran around and lost energy correct actually we only get around 10% of the energy that the chicken had even when we eat green food we only get 10% of the energy in the food the rest of the energy is lost in digestion energy to do work etc oh let me draw a diagram to show you this transfer of energy sunlight is first made available to producers the producers then become available to herbivores the herbivores are then eaten by carnivores and then they are finally eaten by big carnivores Can we say that food chain is the cycle through which everyone gets his energy? That's correct. Though we take so much of care to eat neat and clean food, harmful chemicals enter our body the most. Even more than the chicken I had. We use several chemicals and pesticides in growing plants. These chemicals enter the plants. And when chicken, rabbits and cows eat these plants these chemicals enter into our body correct don't we digest them no these chemicals are not digested they get added at every step in the chain oh since human beings are at the highest level in the food chain human beings have maximum chemicals this phenomenon is also called biological magnification when we wash our food we only remove the dirt outside but not the chemical inside sad but correct let us conclude this lesson so we have learnt that energy gets transferred from one living thing to another through food chains food chains start with producers who make food and ends with big carnivores energy is lost in the chain at every level Harmful chemicals enter our body through the food chain.